pray because uh, the country Nigeria must not enter into what is called the log ahead with the United Nations. Log ahead with the United Nations that will now involve the United Nations now flying delegates right here in Nigeria. We need to pray because these are the things that are written in the realm of the spirit. Log ahead with the world powers. Nigeria should not enter into what's called log ahead with the world powers. Because I'm seeing world powers log ahead. And when this log ahead starts, it will now be a very big issue. We need to pray about this because I, I am not here to now say, okay, I'm here because it's my uh, Nigeria country or whatever. I begin to now, now not tell them the truth in the face. I have to tell you the truth. So the people that are in position that knows the right thing to do should do the right thing because major prophet of God have done his own part and leaving the rest for the people that are in authority to now quickly do what they ought to do as quick as possible to now avert what is called a log ahead with what's called the word powers. Come see what's called log ahead. And this log ahead may attract what is called sanctions upon sanctions. Sanctions upon sanctions. Remember when I prophesied about Nigeria winning what's called medals and winning a lot of medals and gold. It's winning golds. People were like, uh, how can they win it? Which day? I prophesied it and it has come to pass. It come to pass. Nigeria has won the highest gold that has ever been won. So when a prophet of God, that God has given the grace to be in a country like this, to prophesy, we should follow it up and do the right thing. But also, we must also continue to do this very thing. This very thing is important. Putting the candidates that are contesting for presidency, the, three, the four candidates, pray for them. Don't say this one is uh, not uh, my, my choice. This one is not my choice. This one is not my choice. Put them in prayers. They have indicated what is called uh, the love to serve you and I. <laughs> Forget about who want to win or who want to be this. Put them in prayer. The four, the candidate will know about uh, the, 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 the uh, Ahmed, Senator Ahmed, Abola Tinubu, put him in prayer. We put also uh, uh, the the uh, put him in prayer. Atiku, you put him in prayer. Mister Peter Obi, you put him in prayer. Pray, pray. If you don't pray and something thwarted and happens somewhere, you see something truncated. You see problem. Many things will happen. So you need to pray for them, pray for them, but pray more and more about the election and tell God what to do. Talk to God. Because when we pray, God knows how to answer prayer. Don't say, ah, this one I hate him, or this one I don't want him. No, 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 no. Go in the right way of a child of God and pray the right prayer and then leave the ball for God Almighty to score the goal for his people. That is why I say, prayer is my key. Prayer, prayer, oh, prayer is my charm, oh, I will pray again, oh, prayer is my charm, oh, it's so, so good, so prayer is my charm, oh, I will pray again, oh, prayer is my key, oh, prayer is my key, oh, I will pray again, oh, 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 oh. Wherever you have been watching us, may the Lord bless you. And the Lord bless for you. The Lord favor you. God bless you all. I will pray again. Prayer is my power. Prayer, 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 prayer is my to do. I will pray again. Prayer is my to do. Prayer is my power. I will pray again. So why the major prophet of God I am revealing all the secrets in the realm of the spirit is for all the people of God all over the world to know their right prayers to pray. The number one prayer I say you pray pray that Nigeria as a country should do the right thing and settle the matter with man say in the canal. That is number one. Before you talk about election, talk about any other thing, insecurity and the rest of Pray that very prayer is very, very important. 
because many things are there. Many, many things are there. When you hold somebody and the person is supposed to be free and the person God is fighting for him may cause what is called the darkness and doom. So you pray that the matter, the people, right people should take the right step. You free that young man, let him go. Settle the matter right there as quick as possible. And stop all the delay. Then move into insecurity and pray. After that, you move into the election and move for the candidates. Pray for them. And you move from there and tell the God to do something because the sanction I'm saying with the log ahead, with the word powers coming to Nigeria, I don't know whether it's going to be today or tomorrow, but what I'm saying there's what is going to be a strong log ahead. And this log ahead, Nigeria cannot be able to stand it. Major prophet prophesied before it happened because as I'm talking to you now in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing what's called spiritual conspiracy. Things are already framing up, and this thing that framing up in the realm of the spirit is going to cause a lot of things that will bring about the world powers to log ahead with the Nigeria. Log ahead, serious war, sanctions, and the rest of that is coming forward. Pray and do the right thing. Major prophet will always prophesy as the Spirit of God takes me. So when it begins to happen, people will not say, oh, he did not say it. I said it so that the people that need to pray will pray because that's going to be what's called what sanctions and what's called what power sanctions and long ahead coming straight away. Pray so that we can avert this problem by doing the right thing and taking the right step, not taking anything for granted, not taking anybody for granted, or taking a particular tribe for granted, or taking a particular region for granted, or taking a particular people for granted, or taking a particular candidate for granted, or taking whatever for granted. We must not take anything for granted. The right steps should be taken. The right thing should be done. Because in the realm of the spirit, it is when we do the right thing that now we now know that there is a way forward. If we refuse to do the right thing, things will get out of hand and things will go sour. And the squad's called in the realm of the spirit, rejection and doubt. To complete the rejection and uh, dust here and there. Look ahead. Thank you for watching for me on this program. This is your major prophet, Prophet Dr. David Ingo, Elijah, the major prophet of God. If you love what we are doing, support what we are doing. God will surely support you. All the partners that are partnering with this ministry, continue to do your partnership this month. We are still waiting for some of you to partner with the church on what we are doing. God is the one to pay you back. Whether you're in America, in Nigeria, whatever, whatever you do towards this ministry will turn back to you in blessings and in favor. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you.